Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, the ultimate question I get asked regularly for the past few weeks. Some of you have noticed that uh, 22H2, when we talked about it, how it's finished pretty much and that uh, what we want here is a way to, uh, of course, uh, you know, update maybe before it officially releases. So 22H2 is to be released at the earliest September or October. And of course you can get it now and the questions that I get since I've been installing it and I've been using it for the past uh, couple of weeks are, is how stable is it? Should I go there? Uh, first of all, if you're not sure if you want to go there, it kind of answers a question that you shouldn't go. Um, I think um, enthusiasts that go there know they want to go there and do it. When you start asking yourself questions, that that means that you're unsure and, you know, maybe you shouldn't go if you're unsure of going to 22H2 for now. As for stability, I haven't seen any problems with it. It's been running really well. I've been playing games, Halo Infinite, uh, Forza Horizon 5. I have great performance, uh, no issues at all. So it really seems to be extremely stable and pretty good uh, overall. Once again, you're not getting a whole lot of stuff in the uh, Windows 11 22H2. One of them that I haven't talked about is uh, you can add stickers to this screen, which are kind of, you know, it's kind of, I, I find it kind of childish, but, you know, some people like to have all sorts of weird things on their computer and they, they like all sorts of little stuff. As you see here, mine is grayed out because I believe stickers are available only in the U.S. right now, but uh, it's a feature that will eventually make it to 22H2. Um, you know, the rest is, of course, tabs and file explorer that now are going to be available uh, there's going to be, um, you know, a slight improvement in the way that the start menu works, stuff like that. Honestly, I don't think it should, uh, you know, it's it's not enough to warrant a real upgrade before time to 22H2. You'll get it eventually, but, um, you know, you can still, uh, like I said, it's very stable. So if you go, I think everybody's going to be okay moving on to 22H2 if you wish. Once again, the only way to do it and be very careful how you do it is going into the settings, going into the Windows Update, going into the Windows Insider Program, and from here, uh, go to the Get Started and then go into the Beta Ring. Be careful not to go to the Dev Channel. You, will be at, uh, you won't be able to come back from Dev Channel. It's Beta Channel. It's very important. At the beta channel, of course, uh, just make sure that you put on the slider that says unenroll this device when the next version is released. But for the rest, uh, for stability, I got no issues. Is there any little glitch, any problems? Nothing that I've noticed on this build right now. So it seems to be a pretty good build. But like I said, not a lot of new stuff. You know, uh, improvements on the task manager, for example, also which follows the colors of the uh, the accent colors, as we say, from their background picture, if you want, and stuff like that, the new, you know, task manager or improved, uh, stuff like that. But honestly, it's so little change that, um, and, and it doesn't address pretty much most of what people wanted in Windows 11 and doesn't address most, most of those things. You're still going to be with a Windows 11 with, just a few little things, but still feel like it's still missing on some points. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.